Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th, so 11th, 12th, 13th. Whenever it resonates, timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. This is my second daily vibe. I have one downloading now. It's been downloading for a long time, and it's failed to download a couple times. So there may, Sometimes when that happens, there's a glitch. So there may be a glitch. So I figured I better just do another one in case it doesn't. But everything happens for a reason. So you may be dealing with something that failed to launch. Okay, it failed to launch. It failed to get off the ground. Then maybe there's a reason. You just maybe you got to do it over. Something like that. Anyhow, so what do we got for a message today? A decision is being made because I just see the two of wands and it's kind of funny because my last one, the first card I had out was the ten of wands. But it was in a different tarot deck, so it was the after tarot, and, and I said the, the very first words that I used was the decision has been made. I completely forgot. I mean, I did this reading, the daily vibe, for today, or for tomorrow, about four or five hours ago, and then I took a nap, so I completely forgot about it. But now, I just saw the two of wands, which is the moment of decision, so that means that it brought me right back to that reading. So... uh yeah, the decision has been made, the final decision. I hope that downloads. I'm going to keep trying so I can get them both up. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to try in different ways. Um, and I've had to, I'm going to, I don't know if it's my computer or what. I'm going to try it on my, my big computer here after this if it doesn't work on that one. Anyway, I'm going to keep trying because I really want it to, was, it was for somebody, put it that way. Um, so what do we got for a message today? A decision is absolutely being made. Uh, and it has to do with focusing on the future, letting go of the past, for real. Um, King of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed is somebody that is unreasonable. This person is unreasonable. They um, impulsive, egotistical, hard to reason with, right? You can't reason with this person for any reason whatsoever. <laughs> so very unreasonable. He may be losing his ambition he's losing his drive uh you notice that he's that it's in reverse so that's a lack of ambition a lack of drive a lack of get up and go um giving up by the looks of things we may have somebody here that is giving up they just don't have any energy left their health could be declining um there, you know, something you think about the Ace of Wands in reverse, and that's what he has in his hand. That is failure to launch, which is interesting. So it's like there's just uh, there's no fire left, there's no passion left, there's no desire left. There's something there's, that's lacking. Okay, it's lacking desire. There's no fertility. There's no growth. Um, going in the wrong direction. Things are going downhill fast by the looks of things. This person may be depressed. They could be even be angry. They may have made a poor decision and they're really angry about it. Maybe their pride, because that lion is a symbol of pride. You see the lion right here? Somebody may have uh, let their pride and their ego get in the way of some passionate new start. Okay, if your pride and your ego is too big, and it's funny because my last reading had something to do with ego, so I'm really going to keep trying. Anyway, somebody did let their ego and their pride get in the way of something. And now they're probably really upset because the King of Wands in reverse is somebody who gets really mad. This guy may be really, really, really mad right now because something didn't work out the way he had hoped. Well, maybe pride and ego got in the way. Okay. Um, the Fool. Now, we could be dealing with an Aries in particular. This is an Aries and this is an Aries. But it doesn't have to be. Um, now, the Fool reversed is foolish behavior foolish pride we got somebody here has foolish pride um this is neglecting to take action so this person didn't take action they didn't act when they were supposed to this is about taking a risk they may have that fear there's definitely some fear here ego is fear based so fear got in the way now, um, this is heading for a fall. So somebody may be heading for a fall and they may have missed an opportunity. They may have missed an opportunity. They made a poor judgment call. You know, they didn't, they didn't, uh, take that leap of faith. They didn't take that risk. They didn't do what they were supposed to do or they didn't, uh, they let fear stop them. They let fear stop them from moving forward. Now they probably have, um, some regrets. They may even be very, very, very upset. Uh, hmm. 
looks like there's somebody could be fall. They could fall. You know, they're maybe they're feeling powerless or they're losing their power or they're feeling really down. Wow. Wow. The sun reversed and no, my deck is not upside down. Okay. It's not. We got a upright right there. It's not up. This deck, you know, my decks aren't upside down. When it's reversed, they're reversed for a reason. It means there's an absence of success. There's an absence of success because somebody hasn't put in effort. And now they're very sad. And their health, somebody's health may be declining. Their health may be declining. And it could be declining pretty fast. I think, you know, when, when you're stressed out or when you don't follow your heart. Because sun is a card of heart, you know... <sighs> Stress kills, and that's not just a quote. That's the truth. So, um, it feels we have somebody's health is declining, and I think it's declining pretty fast because they haven't honored their heart in some way. They haven't uh, done what they wanted to do. There's sadness. There's poor logic here. There's lack of clarity. Somebody was definitely unrealistic. And now they're losing, it feels like they've lost their personal power. They, they haven't been honest with themselves and they're lonely and they're lonely because of disillusionment and they're probably feeling like a fool. They may have been fed some sort of fantasy, who knows, or disillusioned by fear or ego or pride or something like that. Somebody wasn't seeing clearly. They were not seeing clearly at all. But anyway, it feels like there, somebody's health is declining as well. I think it's declining because they may have done something foolish. Okay, they may have done something very foolish. This is foolish. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. A minute ago it was on the bottom and it was upright. So this is definitely has something to do with pride. Okay, we all know the strength card is about pride. A lot of it is about pride and ego. So, and we definitely have some poor health here. We have the absence of good health, put it that way. Okay, there's no health is declining. Uh, fear took over. Uh, Somebody made a foolish decision based on ego. They probably uh, lost their courage or they or some something about ego got in the way of happiness because this is ego, this is ego, and this is happiness, and it's all it's all reversed, which means there's an absence of happiness. So we have somebody here that really is quite upset. They are quite upset. They're very much not happy. They're not happy because of their foolish decisions that they have made, and now they feel powerless. They feel powerless. Um, perhaps it's too late. Maybe they've already fallen. Maybe it's too late. They're in a deep, dark place, right? Anyhow, the strength card reversed is uh, weak, getting weak, weak, weak. Somebody is getting weaker. Something, you know, and it could be, uh, well, take that however you want. Um, there's lack of confidence. There's low self-esteem. Somebody may feel inadequate. They don't believe in themselves. There's definitely depression here, and it could and it and it could be depression because you're feeling tied down. Um, I flip a pile at a time. That's how I do my cards. Okay. Aha! The Emperor. So we probably are dealing with an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. Um, we could be dealing with a Leo as well. We definitely have fire here. We have Aries and Leo. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. So, but it doesn't have to be. So it could be, it could be anybody. But we have somebody here who, you know, looks like he, he has the piece. It's his move. It's his move. It's in his hands. And I feel like he's about to make a move. He's been waiting and he's been sitting back and he's been thinking about it. But he hasn't been doing it. I think it, whatever he hasn't been doing, it's because of fear. It's because of lack of self-confidence, lack of courage, um, foolish mistakes that he's made in the past. Uh, so we definitely have an emperor here that is about to make a move.
he may be getting sick and, and maybe because they're like I said, stress kills and stress is caused from depression. So anyhow, I feel like we have somebody here that is getting sick. They're getting sick and I'm sorry to give that message, but that is a fact, okay? We all get sick. There's definitely some poor health here. And any tarot reader alive can see that. But if these were upright, we could pretend that that wasn't the truth. So anyway, we have an emperor, which is a masculine, that is about to make a move. He probably knows. He probably knows that he made a foolish decision. It was his move. He's in charge. The emperor is in charge. The masculine is in charge, right? It's been that way since, what, forever? Since the caveman days? It's up to the masculine to make the move. Not the feminine. And, so, and perhaps, you know, if you could look at it this way, this could be the masculine, this could be the feminine. The feminine has given up. Seven of, this is a fall from power. Seven of wands reversed. This is, this is feeling worn down, stepping down. Uh, quitting, admitting defeat, definite weakness here, powerless. We have a fall from power here. No longer in the game, no longer in the fight. No fight left. Somebody's fight is is uh, diminishing. It's like there they is, I have no fight left. Their strength is is going is de declining. Their health. Somebody's health is. I got to be honest with you. May have a, may this person may be a father, maybe a husband, a boss, may have a business. This is a, this is an entrepreneur or a business owner or a father. He's a provider. Very masculine. He's losing his his power. He's he is. He's losing this masculine is losing his power. And he's like he sees it happening. He totally sees it. He does. He's looking over at this and he's like, Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm this is a fall from grace. It really is. This is a fall from power and this is a fall from grace. We have a masculine. He this masculine may have <coughs> went overboard. He probably did because this is going, he probably, he went overboard. He, his ego and pride got in the way and he went overboard. And it's like now the universe is bringing him down. Whoop. So yes, this is definitely a fall from power. This guy is egotistical and I don't care what anybody says. He's very egotistical. We have an egotistical individual, masculine, and this is a masculine, um, that is losing his power and he's losing his grace or, you know, he's losing his, this fight, whatever it is. Ah, the moon reversed. So truth is being revealed. A truth is being revealed. You can't hide anymore. Somebody is facing a reality check. They may be having nightmares. There could be a mental imbalance. There could be some self-deception. But it's something is about to be shown. From darkness to light. Hmm. Can't hide the truth. Can't hide. Can't hide. You can't hide from what is going to be shown. Something is going to happen that you cannot run from, you cannot hide from. 
the hangman, upright. Could be dealing with a Pisces. We have Pisces here, Pisces here. Um, this man or person has been stuck, has been sacrificing, has been wasting time trying to prove a point. I got to prove a point and I'm going to prove a point and I don't care what anybody thinks. I got a point to prove. Unwilling to see things from a new perspective. This person has been thinking about what has happened, though. He has. Trying to see things from a new perspective. Been restricting themselves. Punishing. This is punishment. Somebody's been punishing another person. But thinking about everything that has happened. So yes, we have somebody here that is thinking, 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 thinking. And perhaps they're becoming enlightened. They're becoming enlightened be through this time of isolation or sacrifice or whatever they've been through. They're becoming enlightened of the truth of what really matters, of what happiness is. So somebody is becoming enlightened through this time of isolation. Something has, the truth has been hidden. There's been some self-deception. Somebody was lying about their happiness. Now they're losing their power. They're losing their grace. This guy is, has to make a move. The, the, it's in his hands. He has, he has the the opportunity in his hands to make a move. He knows because he sees this big mess. He's been thinking about it. He knows that it's his move. He knows that it's his turn. It's his turn. He's going to have to face his fears. So we have a masculine that has some fears. Because this is fears as well. He probably has fears of being rejected. But if you don't make that move, you'll never know. The fool card is about taking a risk. Take a risk on happiness. So anyway, I feel as though... We have a masculine that is about to make some sort of move. He knows that it's time to tell the truth. He's been enlightened. He's received some sort of message. Um, and I think the message is from above. I don't think it's from some other person saying, Oh, you should do this and you should do that. No, no, I don't think that's it. I think that he has received a message through his a time of isolation or thinking period. You know, when he was thinking, 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 thinking. He's received some sort of message that has brought him some sort of clarity where he was in the dark. Now he sees something clearly and he knows that he has to make a move. But making that move is going to mean that he has to face his fears. And his fears have overcome him for so long. Seven of Swords reversed. Well, we have a sneaky, shady individual who left something behind him. He may need to go back. So he could be going back. He could uh, he could have slipped away for a minute, but um, I think he probably left something behind. This guy is out of here, out of here. But you notice there's um, he's leaving a trail behind him. He is definitely leaving a trail behind him. Leaving behind a couple of things gonna get caught somebody who's getting caught they're going to get caught they're getting caught doing something getting caught lying getting caught stealing getting caught doing something their secrets are coming out somebody has been keeping secrets and they have been lying and they're about to get caught They've been sneaking around, doing something behind somebody else's back, and they're about to get caught. Woo! They're going to leave a, some sort of trail, okay? Something is going to happen. They're going to leave a trail of some sort. Hmm. One more card.
We have a person that lacks respect for others. It's this person right here. This is lack of respect, and this one is too. So we have this, this masculine that does not respect others. You know, perhaps it's his turn to fall flat on his face. What goes around comes around. Something could be coming back to around to haunt this guy who who uh, made a foolish choice based on ego and ego and pride. So we do have something coming back around for this masculine who failed to make a move. He didn't make the right move. He'd been sitting on it, right? He has, if you see, what's, this is mirroring this one. He'd been sitting on it. He'd been sitting on it, thinking, thinking, thinking. He'd really been thinking, okay? He'd been thinking. Because mirroring, that, that's a pretty prominent message right there. These two cards go together. So we have this person that has been thinking about what has happened. He's been thinking a lot about it. He's failed to make a move. He knows he probably has to go back and rectify the situation because he left something behind or something like that. He's probably very scared, though. Very, 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 very scared. I see a lot of fear here. A lot of fear. Fear of of uh, going down by the looks of things. Um, anyhow, one more card about this masculine. Very un, un, unhappy, this guy. Yet. He ain't happy at all. The Empress reversed. He may have lost the love of his life. That is the love of his life right there. This is a power couple. The emperor and the empress. He may ha She may have given up. She have, may have terminated the whole thing. He didn't respect her anyway. Remember I said lack of respect. This is He didn't respect this woman. Or she didn't respect him. Could go that way as well. Because this woman. Somebody's cheated. Because this is cheated. Somebody's getting caught cheating. Somebody has cheated. Or lying. If it's not cheating, it's lying. There's definitely a lack of respect in some. This guy could be a narcissist, okay? Because this one and this one. And this, these are people that are weak. It only seeks out the weak. So we could have a masculine that only seeks out weak women. I'm just being honest. I know there's women narcissists too, but I'm this anyway, we could have a masculine that seeks out weak. This is weak and this is weak. Very weak. Anyhow, I feel like this, this masculine is about to get caught. He's about to get caught. Or he's about to go down. Okay. I think that he is about to go down. He's going to fall really, 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 really hard. That is how I feel. Um, this, this masculine may have also uh, disrespected his queen. And he could feel guilty. He could feel guilty and he wants to go back. But he is super, super, super fearful. Super fearful, which he should be. Um, this is a loss. Okay, the Empress Reverse is a loss. No more love. No more desire. So anyway, I think that we have a masculine that has been thinking about what has happened. And he is about to make a move. And I think he's going to make a move towards somebody that he disrespected. Good luck.